Hello and welcome back to our UE5 C++ tutorial series. In the previous episode we started looking at some common nodes that you would probably use in all the time in blueprints and showcasing how you actually make them in C++. So last time we've done a print string, in this episode we're going to take a look at casting and take a look at how casting works in terms of C++. So let's jump in. So another common node that you often find people using is casting. So how do you cast from one reference to another type of reference? So let's go into what we started, uh, we done last time, which was our on-screen debug message. And let's make it so it only does this um, if it is successfully casting my player character to the one that we're running in the game. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is replicating uh, this behavior. We do get player character. And then we're going to be casting to my C plus project character. Okay, so we are going to be replicating this in code. So let's go back into our Visual Studio, and inside our uh, function we made last time, uh, we're going to put in uh, first of all the type that we want to use. So this would be the class. So it'd be A, and then my C plus uh, project character so that is going to be the type reference or uh, the reference type for your uh, output so basically that has to be this whatever you want uh where is it uh, this blue pin uh, that is whatever that is so this is a my c plus project character object reference so therefore in visual studio i need to define what it is here so this will give you an error say it's undefined and if you've got IntelliSense turned on, you can just click on this and you'll see that you have to add the include for my C plus project forward slash my C plus project character. So we're just going to click on that and it'll add that to the top here, my C plus project forward slash my C plus project character dot H. And that will now be happy with that. So we're going to set up a pointer. So we do it with an asterisk. And now we put in the name of our variable. So we do my player. Or if we want to be just like it as it is in the blueprint, we do as uh, my C plus project character. Okay, and that is going to be the pointer. Okay, so to now assign this to a casted value, you can do equals and then cast, which is called a cast sort of notation. And in there, you can put in a less than symbol and a greater than symbol. And it's in between these two is where you put in what class you want to cast this to. So in blueprint terms, it's this bit up here. So my C plus project character, that is the class name that you want to use inside of your um, cast here. Now, if you just put in my C plus project character, it won't recognize it, okay? Because that is not technically the name of the class. The name of the class is technically A my C plus uh, project character. So, although it's not giving us the red underline yet because it's a bit slow, but if we put in A there, that will solve that problem for us. Um, once you've got that, we then have to give it a parameter. So you open the brackets, and the parameter for this is going to be our uh, object pin. So this one goes in here. So what are we feeding into it? So we're going to feed in get player character. Now get player character, if you hover your mouse over it, it says it's gameplay statics. Target is gameplay statics. So that means that this belongs to the gameplay statics class. So if I go back to my Visual Studio, I need to add the statics class to this. Now, a short way of doing that is by just typing in get player character. And with IntelliSense doing its job, you can right, uh, click on it and it should give you a little guess mark. There you go on this and it will tell you to add include for the gameplay statics header so do that add the header file for this and that will now appear up here but then you just need to tell it to get that function from the gameplay statics because at the moment it doesn't know that it, you're just using um it, it thinks that that is going to be currently a function inside this current class which it isn't so what you need to do is just do you uh gameplay Statics colon colon 
and that will get you access to that function get player character from the gameplay settings. Okay, and that'll do there, and we can hit the uh, semicolon. And you get a little error. That's because get player character actually technically needs one input, and that is a player index. Again, on your blueprint node, you see it's here. Player index zero. We want to keep it at zero, so we we'll just put in zero, and that is it. So that is going to give us this here. Now, if I want to do a cast successful and cast failed, I can do. I can just do if, and then in brackets, I'm going to put in as my C plus project character is not equal to a null pointer. We're going to open our curly brackets, and that means that this is going to be true. So I'm going to put this string into the true part of our if statement here. Okay. Uh, why is that underlining? There's my C plus. Uh, it's there. So why is it thinking it's weird? I spelt it right. Uh, no, I put a couple of P there. It should be like P. There we go. Um, so that's going to check to see if it's not anything. So if it if it was incorrect and hasn't got an actual solution in it then it's not going to do this print string okay um and if you want to do you can put an else in there that would be the same as cast failed so this is for cast succeed and else would be for cast failed okay so you can put in anything you like in here but we're not going to we'll just do a little comment saying cast failed okay so uh oh, there's one more parameter by looks of it need here because there's a little underline here so get player character needs also a uh, world context, of course it does. So that needs to be get world, open bracket, close bracket, and then comma. So get world will get the current world that we're in, uh, so it knows what context to look for the player character. Now, if you're in Visual Studio, you will get this underline come up, probably. Uh, ignore that. Um, I, in tele sense, it's a weird, horrible thing. <laughs> so um ignore it it should be okay okay so in here we've got a uh, if it's true and it was successful in getting a pointer to the player character it'll print out the word hello i'll tell you what we'll just make it say success and we'll do it in green and if we are failing we'll just copy that and we'll put it in failed here and change it to red and we'll change the text to say failed Okay, so that's the full cast to function set up there for you. So we get it, we have to set up the variable, first of all, which is what this bit does. We're then doing cast to the type and then the object you want to use. In this case, we're using get player character from the current world at index zero. And then we check to see if our variable that we've made here is not equal to anything. If it's not equal to anything. That means we've actually got something out of it. We want to say it's successful. Otherwise, failed, so forth. But that does now mean I can access anything I want from my as my C++ character um, from that class. So, for example, if I open up that character class up and go into here, um, I can get things like the jump, uh, not jump action. Um, we can go and do uh, has rifle, all has rifle. Okay, so I can, we can get that from here now. So if I can go into there and do as my C plus uh, project character. And I can then use my access here to get the B um, as rifle. Okay, so much like how you would do in uh, blueprint you can now get things from that reference point okay so we don't need that now so let's test this working we're going to save all our work here go back to unreal recompile and wait for that to finish and when it's done if i hit play now when i walk over that area it will now say success Great, because I'm walking over the correct player class.
And there you have it. You can now cast like you would as if you're using blueprints. Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you want to watch the next episode, you can do right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lely. In the episode, we're going to continue going through some commonly used nodes and some extra little bits and little tips and tricks as well. You can watch that episode right now on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lely from just $1 a month. Thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support in the channel. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.